The Three Little Pigs by James Marshall Once upon a time, an old sow sent her three little pigs out into the world to seek their fortune. Now be sure to write, she said, and remember that I love you. The first little pig met a man with a load of straw. I know, said the little pig. I'll buy your straw and build a house. That's not a good idea, said the man. Mind your own business, thank you, said the little pig. Then he bought the straw and set about building a house. It took him no time at all. Very soon, a lean and hungry wolf happened by. Pig was just about his favorite food in the world. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This annoyed the wolf to no end, and he said, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Go right ahead, said the little pig. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in, and he gobbled up the little pig. The second little pig met a man with a load of sticks. I've got it, said the little pig. I'll buy those sticks and build a house. I'd think twice about that, said the man. Oh, poo, said the little pig. What would you know? And he bought the sticks and went to work building a house. Very pretty, he said. No sooner had the little pig settled into his pretty house than the wolf happened by. He was still hungry, and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf didn't care for that at all, and he said, I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Ha, 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 said the little pig. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in, and he gobbled up the little pig. Now the third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. These bricks will make a fine, sturdy house, said the man. Capital idea, my good fellow, said the little pig. So he bought the bricks and set about building a house. It took him quite a bit of time, but it was well worth it. Nice and solid, said the little pig. Nice and solid. But no sooner had the little pig moved in than he noticed the wolf loitering about. And the wolf, who was still hungry, said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, the wolf had heard that before, and he said, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Oh, don't do that, said the little pig. But the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, until he was quite blue in the face. The house stood firm. I'll try another approach, muttered the wolf, and he put on his most dazzling smile. Little pig, I was only teasing, he said. By the way, I hear tell that Farmer Jones has the most scrumptious turnips. Shall we go pick a few? Oh, I'm much too busy now, said the little pig. What about tomorrow morning? Excellent, said the wolf. I'll come for you at six. The next morning, the little pig got up at five, hurried off to Farmer Jones's turnip field, picked a basket full of scrumptious turnips, and dashed back home. When the wolf arrived at six, the turnips were already boiling in the pot. Sorry, I couldn't wait, said the little pig. The wolf tried not to show his displeasure. Mm, no harm done, he said. By the way, there is a lovely apple tree down in Merry Meadow. Shall we go help ourselves to a few apples? I must cook my turnips, said the little pig. Let's meet there tomorrow morning. Splendid, said the wolf. Shall we stay at five? Then next morning, the little pig was up at four and went off for the apples. It took longer than he'd expected to reach Merry Meadow, and while busy gathering apples in the highest tree, he saw the wolf approaching. Do try one of these, he called down, throwing an apple as far as he could. When the wolf chased after the apple, the little pig shimmied down the tree and made it safely home. The next day, the wolf came again. Really, he was quite put out. There's a fair today on Hog Hill, he said. Would you care to go? Why don't we meet there, 
said the little pig. Would three o'clock suit you? Colossal, said the wolf. Three it is. Just to make sure, he would be there at two. At one in the afternoon, the little pig went to the fair and had a fine time. So fine that he lost track of the hour. Suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. Without a minute to spare, the little pig jumped inside an empty butter churn and rolled down the hill toward the wolf. Well, the wolf was so scared, he ran all the way home. That evening, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him how frightened he'd been by a great round thing that came down the hill. Frightened you, did I? said the little pig. That great round thing was a butter churn, and I was inside. This was simply too much for the wolf to stand. I've been nice long enough, he cried. I'm going to eat you up right now. And he climbed onto the roof. When the little pig saw this, he put a big iron pot in the fireplace and quickly stoked the fire. Here I come, cried the wolf. Dinner time. You can say that again, said the little pig. And he cooked the mean old wolf and gobbled him up.